there are a number of different usage cases for why you might want to use contact. So at the very first, you might want to use it just strictly as an instrument library. Contact has a vast library of instruments that it comes with, and if you purchased it as part of a package with Complete, it has even more. So there's lots of different instruments you can load up and lots of different categories. So you can instantly just open up an instrument, go ahead and get it, and play. And these sample libraries are not just sound samples, but they're scripted. They've got controls and things that you can change to alter the character of the instruments and alter what samples are being played back and that type of thing. So if you don't ever want to get into the programming aspect or sampling or anything else like that, you can use it purely as a great sound source for a lot of different instruments. Now, you might want to dip your toe in sound design and create some multi. So another usage for contact might be to create some really big and lush soundscapes and big instruments. And you do that by loading up multiple instruments in the contact library. So you can load up several of them at a time. You just have to make sure that they're mapped to the correct MIDI channel. We'll go over that a little later. So now I'm playing two. And if I decide that that second one's a little loud, I can just adjust the volume of it, bring it down a little bit. And you've got pan controls, you've got all sorts of different aspects of this sound that you can really make some cool stuff with. So even just combining two sounds is dipping your toe into the waters of sound design. You can make some really cool stuff with just the included instruments in contact and some of the stuff that you can have by getting complete or the expanded version. Now, you might have to use contact as a third-party player. So you might not have even purchased contact, but you have to use it in order to load up some third-party instrument. So you wind up buying it so that you can specifically load up cinematic guitars or something from one of these other great companies that designs instruments from contact. So this is not one that you can purchase through native instruments, but you can buy a third party version. And then if you want to play it and want to use it, you'll have to have contact. And these third party developers make everything from soundscapes for sound design and film stuff all the way through just more realistic instruments that are dedicated to one specific category or genre. Um, you might wind up using the contact player, but a lot of them require the full version of contact because as you can see, there's some really deep scripting and things like that going on that it really needs the whole thing. Now, if you want, you can even use contact strictly as a sampler and instrument generator. You can craft your own instruments. So you can simply go up and create a new instrument, open up the settings, and there you go. I can map samples. We're going to get into that a little later. So I'll just open up this library and drag and drop some samples in there. And very quickly, you'll see how fast contact can map instruments. Now, they're not in the correct order right now. So if I wanted them to be, I'd have to use the auto map function. And you can see how fast it puts them in order. So. We'll get back to this little uh, DX7 sample that I created later on, but you can see you can easily create some new instruments, add effects, and do your own thing. And you don't have to see that while you're playing. So if that's a little distracting, you turn that down and you're back to the regular interface. You can combine your own instruments with the contact instruments. So don't feel that you're limited to just the things you can make. The sound design and the possibilities are endless with this instrument, so it's good to have an idea going in with what you'd want to focus on first. Trying to focus on all um, of those areas can be a little overwhelming, so it's kind of good to learn how to use contact to play instruments, then maybe use it to design some sounds, and then finally get into just sampling your own stuff. <laughs> 